Good morning, guys. We are kicking off part two of this ZJ header panel video out here at Peconic Auto Wreckers. And the gentleman at the front counter said he should have a couple lenses. So we are looking for a red 98 Grand Cherokee. And I think I see it over here. Looks like it's behind a Wrangler. Let's get in a little closer. Oh man. This YJ is pretty cool. Looks like it was in a rollover. What a shame. Well, let's check out our ZJ. Here we go. Here's my lenses. Oh no, someone took the driver's side. Ah, crap. Well, before we get started, let's take a look inside. Hey, check it out down here. One and a half inch spacers. Oh, cool. This thing's sitting on three inch blocks. Hope these threads aren't too jacked up. Bet this guy had pretty cool wheels. If anybody wants some lift and spacers, come on down. Hey, Merry Christmas. What is this? Angelica? <laughs> Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Wow, there's a lot of crap in here. Cleats. Balls. Oh, this guy's a ball player. Cool. Prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward, sir. Looks like we could use this. A little crack. Ain't so bad. Ain't so bad! This fog lights are in good condition. Let's grab these. And there's bolts all over the place. Ain't nothing wrong with these guys. Crazy how these survived the accident. <laughs> Look at this thing. Took out a tree or a pole, man. Dead center. Hope the dude's okay. Sorry that you lost your Jeep, buddy. But your parts will live on through the general. All right, gonna take these parts to the register, and I'll see you back at home. All right, guys, we are back from the junkyard, and check out our score. We got horns, some hardware, fog lights, passenger side lenses. Uh, we got the, actually the whole corner of the header panel, which we could take apart. Junk. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't save this tab for another project. No biggie. And even got some rain guards off that ZJ. So, it's a good score. Um, and check this out. The dude that owned that ZJ was a baseball player. 7-24-12 first professional outing. We got two innings pitched, one hit, one base on balls, and three strikeouts. Uh, Mark, if you want your ball back, it's yours, man. You earned it. And good luck in the pros. Or whatever. <laughs> so if any of you guys know a ball player named Mark that crashed his 98 ZJ and has a girlfriend named Felicia, let him know I got his game ball. So let's go try these out and see if they all work. All right, we got success. Great. And this fog light works. So cool. Now that bulb's good. Let me check the other bulb. 
Yeah, and the second bulb works too. Cool. I'm all hooked up with lighting. Fantastic. All right. So we're going to use the 97 and 98 lenses um, in pretty good shape. I'm just going to use my kid's paintbrush and try to dust out the inside of these. Make them look a little bit better. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put in a little bulb grease um, on these before I install them. <laughs> now make sure you grab the dielectric grease, not the gasket maker. That would have been a big mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble these and check out the difference between OEM and aftermarket. Here is aftermarket. And here is factory. So I'm going to go ahead and use all factory parts. Save this for uh, another day. All right, guys, the moment you've all been waiting for. Check out these tabs. You never even know that they were broken off. They came out fantastic. <laughs> I bet you don't even need them either. <laughs> well, they're going on. They look great. Time to start reassembling this header panel. All right, so last night I soaked this thing in WD-40 to make sure all the headlight adjusters were nice and lubed up. And um, yeah, now we're good to go to reassemble. Okay, so I got my driver's side wire harness. And if you just kind of lay this in where it's supposed to be, it, <laughs> it tells you exactly how it goes. So right here, we're gonna put this connector in. This one. Corner marker going up. There's the other signal. I'm gonna put this connector right in this hole. And the plug goes out the back on this rear tab. Very simple. The wires have memory. Perfect. All right, first, I'm gonna do the bottom lens. I'm gonna put in the bulbs, put the sockets in, come a little turny. Just gonna wipe off my fingerprints. Use the old shirt there. Put them in, give it a turn. Uh, these kind of just rock in. Slide in the back. And you lay it flat. Now we could add our screws. Also had all my fasteners and clips soaking in a paper towel full of WD-40 overnight. Soak up all that oil. Get nice and black looking. We're just gonna hand tighten all of these because this plastic is old and brittle. 20 year old OEM parts. Don't wanna break it. Move it on up. Gonna go top down first. <clears throat> This will suck the lens in where it's supposed to be. Then I'll have room to get the bottom on. There we go. That drew it up very nice. Now we got that really long one.
Ah, very good. Gonna go over to the other side now. All right, now we can install our nice new lenses. Um, before I put them in, I'm gonna just wipe a little bit of dielectric grease while it's out on all these mounting points. So uh, it slides in nice and easy. And when you do this, you're probably gonna have to give it a whack to get them in right. So I'm not gonna put the bulbs in because the bulbs are like $50 for a pair. So um, the bulbs go in last to protect them. There we go. I just want to make sure all three points of contact are lined up. I'm just going to gently press them in. Click. There. While everything's out on the bench, I'm just going to adjust them nice and flush. Seven millimeter. And we'll get it squared up before uh, we put it in. Great. Next side. All right, this thing's almost back together. Looking really good. It looks like a Jeep again. It's not even on the car. I'm just gonna pop in these clips. Um, clips go on the tabs. And there are six of them. Okay, and last but not least, I'm installing the ambient air sensor. It's kind of just lays up on the back. I'm gonna slide in my nice new painted Phillips screw. And this is uh, this is the only screw like this that's on the whole front nose. So you can't really mess it up. Nice oh, long trim screw. And there we have it. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this ZJ header panel video. I tried to give you as much detail as possible in this header panel, how to take it apart, how to reassemble it. And I can't wait to get this thing back on the general. Um, stay tuned for when that comes. Right now, this is gonna get set aside while I button everything up, and we're gonna have a reassembly video coming up real soon. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project.